True Blood Sports Editor, the Gillsburg Register Mail. And we're here talking just before the final regular season game of the season with Gillsburg head football coach Tim Doherty as the streaks get ready to play at Peoria against Peoria Central. Most people know them uh, in Gillsburg still by Peoria Central. Everybody's on Peoria now. But uh, uh, last year you knocked them off. They were the number one team in the Class 5A in the state and uh, unbeaten at the time. And now this year they're not quite as, uh, as formidable. They're struggling a little bit, but uh, they're going to be a big uh, big challenge on Friday night. Yeah, I mean, they, they really do look the same on film. So, um, you know, I, I look back at some of the scores. You know, Danville, they beat Danville in the last play of the game last year, and they're in a couple that they pulled away late. So, I mean, for all intents and purposes, they, they really look the same the same playmakers and some names have changed, but uh, they're good. Their quarterback is committed to Illinois. Mm -hmm. um, he was injured, was it a couple weeks ago and missed right. a game, but he's back now. And uh, what kind of a threat does he? Well, he, I mean, he's, yeah, offensively, he's the engine that makes him go. And, you know, we uh, we played against him and, and watched him develop, and he's just he's a special player, you know, and particularly what they do on offense because he can throw it, he can run it. Can hand it off to really big time back, so you know they're they're going to get yards. Um, you know, just you know defend them and keep hopefully keep them in the pen a little bit. Well, with the loss last week, uh, you won't be going to the playoffs this year. And how do you handle that as a coach uh, if there's a letdown with your team uh, going into that last game? There won't be a letdown. You know, um, I was. It's taken a long time. It just every team's different. Every year's different. Um, our our team's grown up here in the last two weeks. If we just started that way, who knows? But um, we had a lot of emotion in the uh, locker room. We call it emptying our bucket. And um, you know, I was proud of the kids. You know, and, and um, you know, I we've had great practices and. and it's a strange phenomena. Um, you know, this is our playoff game. You know, that's how we're approaching it, and uh, and I and I and I trust that all those all our kids will. Do you think uh, <laughs> Peoria will be looking for a little revenge on Friday night? Um, yeah, yeah. I, I I don't think they're going to take us lightly. You know, and and uh, hopefully they'll get the chance to, to break the. Uh, <laughs> Triple digits. I, I guess I, guess I should have said you won't be sneaking up on them this time. <laughs> no, no. You know, the, the revenge thing. And I, I know, I mean, I, I coached the All-Star game with uh, Coach Thornton, and we did him a favor, you know, and uh, right before the playoffs. And, and, and I've had teams like that, you know, and you just get by and it's just all of a sudden, you know, it just like flicks on. So, you know, I, it's not like we caught them by surprise. They knew who we were, so. Uh, I'm sure they're wanting to beat us, so <laughs> I know they are. It's going to be uh, quite a finish for your junior uh, running back, Kobe Ramirez. Uh, he had 260 yards last week against Rocky. Uh, he's got over 1,100 for the years, close to a couple of school records. What can you say about the season he's had? Well, nothing. That, I mean, Kobe's it, everything, and what I just described as a team is really uh, symbolic in Kobe. We've had so much. Uh, changing in the offensive line, and our guys are finally settling in. We found the right combination, and uh, and, and just with good running the backs, they tend to get better as that gets better. So uh, nothing in that way is surprising me. And, and Kobe's had a really solid year, but uh, I, we were expecting big things from him. And uh, he, get, you know, he's, you know, he, his strength is to such that he can he can handle the load that he's handling. Well, we wish you the best of luck on Friday night. Hopefully, uh, the second straight year for a big surprise in the regular season finale. Thank you.